Hey, this is Scott. I was going to attempt to make some type of holder for batteries that, you know, keeps them pretty secure. My flash it can actually take five batteries. Most of them take four, but this has an add-on for a fifth battery to improve speed. So that's kind of an unusual number of batteries. So I wanted to try to make some type of holder for five at a time, and then the actual camera battery. So I have four layers here from the shirt. Probably make two, like five and then five, split it up into two things. So this seems about right. Of course, so here in between these two and one down here, what I'll probably do is try to make a flap here or something. I'm not sure yet. First attempt made those sense. I wanted to separate every single battery and it fits in there, but then, you know, that's it. I can't do anything else with it. So I'm going to try it again. First I'll start with the top edge. So the batteries will be like this, and that won't be frayed. And then I'll do a fold over. Probably have like a flap that goes over. So I, of course, sewed that, and then I also did this. And put it in uh, the proper direction instead of inside out. I have five batteries in there, and maybe I'll sew here, and then do another five or so. But I should probably do this first. I don't know if I wanted it the entire length here. Maybe I'll fold it over and then have two, s well, okay, that probably won't work, but. So I have 10 batteries in here now, and I marked where I should sew. I'll put two there, but those will go second. I have to do this first. So I'll put it back inside out, and then sew this, and then do these once I flip it right side up. So I've sewn here and did that. And I, now I have two pouches. I'll deal with this, probably sew that over. And I'll think about the flap. But that's pretty close. So it can fit five on each side, hopefully. Yep. So I put the batteries in. There's a little bit of room on this side. I might do another stitch but otherwise it seems to work pretty decent. Though I should try to figure out to make it a little bit more structurally impressive, but. So here's where I'm at. I put the batteries in. It's pretty floppy, not that good, but I'm going to try to add some structural rigidity to it. I also got some Velcro from a hat that I don't use anymore. So that'll be the last thing, but I'm probably gonna make another one of this, similar, but for these, you know, two, like that. It's actually, I think it'll fit, yeah. So I'll make two of these and then put them together as one, and then add some of this between, you know, between the two. So it'll add some structure to it, probably, one, two, or three layers across the whole thing. See how that works. So here is the second holder for this time for the camera batteries. Of course, a wider split patina. And like I said, I plan on trying to attach them together and go like that. And then this one holds the double A's. I also took some velcro from a hat that I never used. So each side will get some velcro. So I sewed right here and then on the edges of both. See there, there's uh, nothing in there. I decided that I don't need to put any type of structural thing because it's so tight that it doesn't, you know, they're not going to flop around. I'll probably put some more. I'll go over this and the edges once more just so that it's not going to break on me. But it's good enough now. What I'll do next after I do those again is figure out the velcro. I'm going to cut this into four sections. 
and then it'll be here, here, and then two on the other side. So I went over these once more, added more thread stitching, and I flap folded this over once and sewed the edges on there so it looks a little bit better. I have to do it on this side now to match it. And then I'll put the uh, Velcro and that should be it. Have it all loaded up with batteries. Have the Velcro cut into four pieces. Going to put, you know, right like that. And then kind of judge where it, the other piece should go on the inside. And then draw the line for that so I get them in the right spot. Put the Velcro on this side. Word to the wise, if you're gonna do this uh, on the interior one, put the Velcro on before you construct the whole thing. It's really difficult to sew in here once it's fully constructed. I'm just gonna do this one where the regular batteries are. So here is the completed battery holder. As I mentioned before, the Velcro in here is extremely difficult to sew in there. I even messed up one side, so I made it kind of symmetrical, <laughs> messed up. Um, but that's something you should do early in the process. But as I was just coming up with this randomly, you know, it just that's how it works out. So five batteries on each side, double A's with the Velcro. And you can see you can toss it around and they're not going to come out. And then on this side, we've got the actual camera batteries. Those are kind of difficult to pull out, but pretty solid. I think it'll work out. And it's flexible, which is a big, a big thing. You don't want to... Another thing is it doesn't take up much extra room besides just the batteries and some cloth. A lot of the bags that I have are really thick and are too large or whatever and I think this will work out nicely.